KTPA, I'm Vanessa Chavez. And I'm Elisa Chapa. Thanks for tuning in to another great edition of Bronx News, broadcasting from the Butterfly Gardens here at UTPA. We're your source for the latest on what's going on around campus. Recent wildfires caused UTPA students along with other local residents to vacate their homes. Jacqueline Alvarez has more on the story. The majority of students at UTPA commute to school, yet recent wildfires have created problems for several of our students. This is some of the damage caused by a recent fire in northern Hidalgo. Students who lived here were forced to evacuate their homes while firefighters fought the blaze and closed down part of Highway 281. I looked out my kitchen window and I could actually see like in the distance like red glowing like flames and embers and that's when I thought, okay, this is serious. The blaze prevented travel on 281 for about a day, making several students unable to attend class. I, ha I was studying for a biology test, so I just kept studying and then um, at about 11.30 we get a Someone comes to our door and it's the sheriff and he's saying that everyone in our area needs to evacuate and that's when things got really scary. Although the flames have been put out and people are back in their homes, the danger is still apparent when traveling on 281. The grass is dry and can easily be set ablaze with our dry weather conditions. So students are urged to stay alert and prepare for the possibility of an evacuation. We recently had the opportunity to speak with UTPA alumni Valente Rodriguez. He spoke to us about his part in this student's summer film, The Red Queen. Although production for The Red Queen has not yet begun, UTPA students and staff are preparing for a fundraiser to help raise money not only for the production, but for the department as a whole. The script, written by Pan Am professors David B. Karen and Dr. Jack Stanley, was composed with a specific actor in mind, UTPA alumni Valente Rodriguez. I can't imagine writing the script without him. I wrote the script the lead role to his character, and I just know he can carry it. Rodriguez is best known for his role as Ernie on The George Lopez Show, and feels like he is coming full circle being part of the Red Queen, having worked on the very first student film, A Discouraging Word. The Valley native also touched on how much he enjoys coming home and visiting campus. The opportunity that this place provided me, coming from where I come from, you know, small, small town and uh, not a lot of money, is amazing, and this is this was my door to the world. Reporting for Bronx News, I'm Melissa Chapa. Festiva gave many an opportunity to display their talents, and amongst them was UTPA professor Luis Contreras. Patty Montemayor has more. Festiva, the Festival of International Books and Arts, was held on March 24th through the 29th. Activities and attractions were found all over the UTPA campus. Festiva had many different scheduled activities for students. Artwork was one of the main attractions in the COAS Gallery from many local and famous artists. Among them was Luis Contreras, a UTPA professor. He received his bachelor's degree from UTPA in art and a master's degree from Ohio State in print design. Contreras teaches beginner design, painting, and drawing. His artwork has completed his interest in the concept of signs, the means by which people receive directions through visual instructions. In his work, the figure becomes an instruction. It becomes a sign. For Bronx TV, I'm Patty Montemayor. Festiva went out with a bang March 29th with a day full of live music. Rosie Sanchez and Jessica Chapa have more on the story. This is Jessica Chapa and Rosie Sanchez reporting for Bronx TV. their music I listen to them every day and that's my number one type of music although it's not my color but I love their music. Festiva attracted a lot of people due to its music performances hoping that in 2009 we get a lot more well-known artists here in Festiva. For Bronx TV this is Jessica Chapa and Rosie Sanchez. The Ad Club will once again be competing in the NSAC competition in Dallas next week. Carlos Mireles has the following report. The Ad Club is once again getting ready for another NSAC competition, and the team will face other universities from across the nation. They are advised by Dr. Kimberly Selber and also advised by Dr. Jennifer Lemansky. I was able to talk to one of the vets on the team, Yancey Swanson. The person in the industry would have to go through, for example, IRB with your research, and not to say that they're a difficult um, department to work with, but they're very particular because you are dealing with human subjects. You learn your teammates very, very well, and um, 
it makes it interesting going to class. It makes it interesting going to work. It makes it interesting taking care of your family. You are so bonded to these people that they become lifelong friends. Yancey is just one member of the NACC team, and this will be her third year in a row competing. The team will travel to Dallas next week where they'll show off their leadership and advertising skills. Good luck, UTPA. This is Carlos Mireles reporting for Bronx News. It was a tight race for the SGA president with a runoff this week, but Marco Silva and Ragu Puragunta came out with the win. Congratulations, guys. We here at Bronx News would like to extend our condolences to the family of fallen soldier Jose Joe Rubio for mission, who lost his life in Iraq two weeks ago. Well, that concludes our edition of Bronx News. Be on the lookout for Bronx Radio and Bronx TV at our website, www.utpa.edu slash Bronx Radio. And for now, you can catch us on YouTube. For Bronx News, I'm Vanessa Chavez. And I'm Elisa Chavez.